Hi people, uh, welcome to Uncle again. Today we're very fortunate as uh, some friends of ours that live out in the country, uh, Sagarama village, I'm sure you've heard of that before because that's where we stay. Uh, we're going to make chacha and they're going to show us how traditionally uh, one makes chacha. So stay with us and we'll go through all the steps and we'll discuss how chacha is made. I look forward to it to be honest. Okay, so most of you want to know most is what's the difference between chacha and vodka? So vodka is generally made from um, wheat or grain type products, so wheat, maize, things like that. Um, and then later, all the more well-known vodkas are made from potatoes. But the process is fairly similar. In fact, they call this uh, the Georgian vodka. Um, the only difference is Georgian vodka or chacha is only made from grape pumas. And as I said, part of the fermentation process is they add vinegar to it. Okay, so the process is starting. We are taking the pumice as I explained earlier and this has been placed into the boiler for the evaporation. So just remember that alcohol evaporates at a far lower temperature than the water and steam. So what we're doing here is actually separating the, uh, the liquids. So leaving the water behind and then uh, through the condenser so the alcohol um, gets driven off uh, as a vapor then you need to go through a condenser like this uh, where eventually the end product is over here so it appears that water is added to the pumice and uh, I suppose that leaches out the alcohol elements in it. Now each family has their secret recipe. The actual process itself is not secret. It's after the process um, that each family has their own little trick. So yes. Um, Chacha is not illegal to make in the country. It's perfectly legal and in other countries would call this moonshine if you're in the States. You would call it Witblitz if you're in South Africa. Unfortunately in those countries it's illegal but here in Georgia it is not illegal. So there we go. It's actually quite, hey Dimitri, you said it's quite a alcohol smell, correct? Yeah. But it's quite pleasant. It's like, it's like a it reminds me a bit of when you go to a winery. It's the same, the same kind of smell. It's smelling a cork. Mm, cork. It's, very, it's very nice. So the making of chacha has been oh, a good thousand years. Remember, wine itself was first uh, invented, if that's the word, in Georgia before any other country. So it really is part of culture here. And um, alcohol has a different meaning in this country. It's, it's not frowned upon. Um, chacha is very important in celebrations, in parties, in uh, where the host of the party or the dinner will make speeches and then the chacha would be consumed as part of it. So we're lighting the fires. So it's gas lit. It's gas lit. Um, this is the gas pipe and there we go. It's. Um, so now we're going to start heating up the pumice to separate water and alcohol. So what you'll see now, the gentleman is now sealing. Um, this is where the pumice is. There's fire underneath. And this is where the condensator is, where it will condensate. Well, where it doesn't condensate, that's the condensator. But this is where the, the fumes of the alcohol will go down. So he has to seal it um, so that there is no heat or the actual vapors itself of the good stuff, the chacha stuff, is sealed in. So it doesn't, it doesn't evaporate out the sides.
burnt. Okay. So the sealant is generally just straight soil um, with with water. I think there's a bit of um, charcoal in there as well. I think that's what they're trying to to explain to me. Oh, here we go. Yes. So I was right. It's a um, it's a form of sand and um, charcoal from from wood. So that's what they use to seal it. Yeah, you see that it's like a charcoaly. Yeah. No. So the process hasn't been updated. They've just used what they've known from. Yeah, so what happens is this, this is passed down generation to generation. Um, so father to son, father to son. And that's why I said um, it's quite, it's an honor to be here because some of the process is a family secret. Yeah. So we might not see the actual end end and what they put in. I know a friend of mine down the road, he puts um, chestnut yes. uh, in there. So um, that's saw this. the one place they had four different bowls and each one had a piece of wood in it. Yes. And they had different things in each one and each tasted different. Yeah, but it's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. The, the taste is... Sure. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. It's a bit strong. Yes, the distiller. So the distiller, um, this apparatus here, would be passed down father to son. You won't get it at the hardware store in, uh, in Tbilisi. So you would have to go to, where did you say? Like which town? In Kacheti. Kacheti, rural can, town. Can yeah. Kacheti, oh, rural okay. town. And online we can buy this. Okay, you can also buy it online. In the groups, uh, wine groups. Yeah. So there, there's a, a business opportunity, bottle it and send it overseas. Okay, so I've learned actually something now, is they do make chacha from the wine itself, not from pumas only. So this is what the finished product looks like. It is clear as water, absolute moonshine. So uh, traditionally eaten with bread, cheese and pickled veggies. It's a tiny but you have to. You have to. Just a little piece. Pretend. 93 or 95? This will be... 98. 60%. 60. Percent. 60. Cheers. Gama Jos Sakartoros. Gama Jos Sakartoros. Georgia. Got it. Gama Jos Sakartoros. Let's see what this tastes like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's strong. That is strong. <laughs> oh, that's strong. No, that, that moonshine is strong. Oh, sorry. Very good. I'm eating the pickled pickled cabbage now. And after you you down it, either it's some cheese, pickled cabbage, or some bread. Puri. And if you look at my site, you will see how we make puri. 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 Say it again. Puri. 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 Well, there you go. Now we know. So I have to say, I took a swift. Didn't it hit you for a second? Let's try again. me we
can see it's a great time for men to get together and tell stories of the past while making the chacha. <laughs> So what do most people drink? You said they drink wine kind of up to midnight? No, no. Drink wine, no. but in the winter. You drink? When it's cold. Yes. And, um, <laughs> so you need to keep warm, you'll, yeah. you'll drink chacha. People drink in Chacha when you are uh, go outside. This is the winter, snow. And do you drink Chacha when? Because I see there's a tradition in Georgia when you together as having yeah. a feast. You will do spe pe speeches. You do speeches and then you drink yeah, the Chacha. When people keep also in farms, in homes. Yes. Pigs. Oh, uh, when you slaughter pigs. Yeah. Then you'll uh, make a. Swati, they uh, also drink chacha. No. But I don't love. Uh, you don't. Uh, I love uh, wine. Tell me though, what we were discussing earlier, uh, medical properties of chacha. Do you remember that? Uh, medical properties. I, like, I uh, don't. Like sore stomach, uh, cuts. Yeah. If you cut yourself, yeah. you can put chacha on. Yeah. Um, I believe you can also use it for if you have a sore throat. I can imagine that will work, that's for sure. So they also use it for medical purposes. Yes. Two hours later. So people, we're at the stage where the magic is happening. As I said, we had the, uh, the raw ingredients in here. It was placed in there with some water. After about two hours, it condenses enough for it to um, come out of there. Goes through the the cooling device, the condenser. It's quite simple. You just get cold water going through here. And here's the magic. Here it comes out. Here's the chatter coming out. So, uh, sure. Clear, eh? So, uh, Dimitri, what do you think? Are we going to have some uh, chacha? We can't drink this one now, obviously. It's uh, that'll kill us. Yo, dark chai. So what they'll do is they will distill this product twice. He's actually uh, taking some off here. And we're going to actually uh, look at the amount of alcohol that's in this. It's, this is the first... This is the first uh, distillation. Sorry, I uh, had too much chacha. I knocked the gas with my foot. So, what are we looking at here? So, this is 50, just over 50 percent alcohol. Yes. So, this one is 50. 55 percent alcohol. We can't really see the writing is a bit. Then they'll put this again into here and do it again. And it actually virtually doubles, so it will become 90%. Or almost a promet. 90% alcohol. 58%. 58%. Then, uh, when it's 90%, I mean, that's too strong, it will actually kill you. They will then add water to the distillation process, just plain water, so they get. Um, uh, distilled water and they'll mix distilled water with it uh, and they kind of make it back to about 50 60 percent um, you can't drink 90 percent as I said it would it would damage your health you don't you don't really need that that your health is totally damaged anyway I'd like to thank the people the Georgians are extremely hospitable and uh, they invited us into their home to show us 
this process of making cha-cha. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Remember to, what do we say? Like and subscribe. So what they do afterwards, they'll keep it in these plastic barrels here. And it keeps, obviously, alcohol keeps. What we drank this morning, you saw us drinking some cha-cha. That was a year old cha-cha, so... Sure. It's just like water. Come here, Dimitri. Take this up. It's, it's pure. It's pure water. If you look here, it's clear, clear, clear. Absolutely no impurities whatsoever. Would you be upset about boiling this? Sure. So it comes out, it's kind of lukewarm when it comes out. I'm going to have a sip of this. No, no, you, you'll be dead. Yeah, you'll be <laughs> So people, that's how you make cha-cha. We just need to thank our friends for uh, helping us. Is uh, give your names. Sergi. Sergi. The son of the master, and here's the master. Your father's name? Zakro. Zakro. Didi Matlaba. 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 Zakro for showing us. And yes, so if you have any questions, give some comments on the link below, and hopefully I can answer it. So.